Hello and uh, welcome to this next video on uh, mobile phone repairing. In the previous video, we saw what a multimedia handset is and what are the different parts of a multimedia handset. In this uh, video, we will try and understand how we can operate this multimedia handset. It is important for you to understand how to operate these handsets because only then you will be able to repair them properly when you get any defective handsets to you. Now, to switch on this uh, handset, you, you can slide it open and then press the red color button there like you do it in all phones. When you press it on, you will see the name of the manufacturer and then uh, uh, with a small tune, the mobile will get started. As you can see, the mobile is now coming into action and you can see the home screen there in front of you. Now, this is where you will be able to see a lot of information about the status of the mobile phone. Important parameters that signify the status of your mobile phone are all placed in the home screen. Now, in the locked position, you will be able to see the date and time and once you uh, press any of the unlock button. So, to unlock it, you press the middle button and then press the star button or you can slide it open and the keypad is unlocked. Once the keypad is unlocked and you see the home screen there, on, on the top, on the top left hand side, you will see the network symbol. This shows you how strong the mobile network is and it will also tell you what kind of network it is. In this case, it is a 3G network, a third generation uh, network. And uh, through that, you will know what is the strength of the mobile network. Apart from that, you also see a battery symbol which tells you the battery strength. What is left in the battery can be noticed using this battery symbol. After that, you see a small key symbol which basically signifies that the mobile phone keypad is locked. Next to that is a silent mode option. So, it is basically a speaker which is not functioning which signifies that the mobile phone is in the silent mode. And in silent mode, it will usually not make any noise. Uh, the ringer will not uh, um, play when somebody calls you. And it is placed in silent mode uh, primarily uh, to ensure that you are not disturbed while you are in meetings. And finally, you will see the alarm symbol on the right hand side. Uh, the bell symbol that you see there is where it signifies that there is an alarm which has been set for a specific time. Apart from that, you will also see the name of the telecom operator uh, whose SIM you are currently using. Their name will be displayed underneath the network symbol. Now, many a times the phone will get into a locked mode automatically on its own after a specific amount of time. This is to ensure that uh, we do not inadvertently press any of the keypad and do not make any uh, wrong uh, calls to people. So, to prevent all of these, the phone is usually uh, moved into, automatically moves into a locked, a keypad locked position at which time the display will also switch off. Now, when it is locked, you will be able to see the date, the time and the day of the week as well as you can see very clearly in the screen. Now, underneath there, you will also see some symbols which signify separate applications. Um, uh, the first one that you will uh, probably see there is an email option followed by on the right hand side is email and then followed by the contact list followed by a camera option and the last one is where you will be able to access the gallery where you can see the images, uh, video files, etc. Let us now unlock the phone and try and understand what options we have inside. You press the middle button which is the menu option. You will be able to see the different uh, menu items that are available to you. The first one is messaging followed by contacts, internet gallery and so on. To select any of these options, you have to place the cursor there and press the middle button on your keypad. Once you press the middle button, which basically is for selecting each of those options, you will be able to get into each of these menu options. Now, you go into the menu messaging option, you will be able to see create message where you can uh, write new messages, inbox is where all your received messages are kept, sent items is where all the sent messages are kept and then if you have, a, if you have a few more options there, 
by pressing on the more button, you will be able to access those additional options. Coming back, let us move to the next item which is contacts. You press this, it will be able to, uh, you will be able to access your contact list. A third option is the internet. Through this, you will be able to access internet through your mobile phone. So, there is a mobile browser provided in these mobile phones. Using the browser, you will be able to access internet. In order to access internet, you will need to have a valid data plan on your mobile device. So, the mobile connection that you have should uh, also have data enabled for you to be able to access the internet. Fourth option is gallery. Gallery is where you will be able to access your photographs, music, video files, etc. So, any photographs that you have shot on this mobile phone or transferred from a computer or any music and video files that you have saved in the micro SD card or in the phone memory can be accessed through this option. So, once you go into the photo option, you will be able to see the photos that you have saved there, your albums and when you took these photographs on a timeline basis. So, this is how you will be able to look at each of the photographs that you have saved in your mobile phone. Similarly, if you go into the mobile videos option, you will be able to see the songs that you have saved or the videos that you have saved on your mobile phone or in the micro SD card. Uh, that you have placed inside your mobile phone. Now, going back into the uh, option list, next option is calendar, which is where you will be able to see the date, time, the week. Uh, you can uh, set notes for a specific date or reminders for specific dates. Underneath that is the log option. This will give you a list of all the calls that you have received, be it missed calls, received calls or the dial numbers. The next option is settings. Through settings, you can um, change a lot of the internal settings of the phone. The first one is a profile option. You can change different profiles in the phone. Right now, it is in silent mode, which means it will not play uh, sounds when you receive a call. If you want to change it, you choose the necessary profile. For example, we just activated the general profile, in which case the phone is in normal mode now. It will play ringtones if somebody gives you a call. And uh, in order to change these profiles, in this, these profiles are very important because depending on the situation, you can keep changing the profile as per your uh, requirement. So, when you are in meetings, you can place it on a silent mode. When you are in not in meetings or when you are in louder areas, where there is a lot of noise, you can use a loud option so that the ringtone is very loud in those places. So, all these settings can be uh, done using the profile option in the settings menu. So, let us go back to profiles and try and put it back on uh, the silent mode. You activate it and now the silent profile is back and you will see the silent symbol on top. Going forward, let us go back into settings and look at the other options. You have something called as themes. Themes give you the uh, look and feel of the display of the mobile. So, you can change the themes using this option here. You can select different team themes or you can download them from uh, online stores. You can also change the tones that your mobile plays. Uh, so, going into the tone settings option, you will be able to see multiple options there. The top one is incoming call alert. Currently, we have set it on silent mode. So, the incoming call alert is off, but you can move it, change it into a ringing option in which case your phone will ring whenever there is an incoming call. There are other options also here where you can keep an ascending tone or ring once in which case the phone will ring only once. Or you can look at a beep once option, which means it will only beep once when a call comes or you can switch it off. So, depending on what setting you want, you can choose how you want the phone to play the ringtones. The second option is where you will be able to set the ringing tone also. Now, while you go into the set tone, there are some tones which are usually given in your mobile phone itself. So, you can choose one of those ringing tones or alternatively, you can actually uh, play any other downloaded files or any other copied ringtones uh, that you have put in your memory card. You can use the open gallery option to select the respective music file and you can keep that as your ringtone on your mobile phone. The next one is the ringing volume option which will help you increase or decrease the ringing tone volume. If you are in very loud areas, if you are going to be working those kind of places, you can increase it to full volume or you can set it at a point that you are very convenient. Once you make these changes, you click on the center button which is a save button and once you save it, you will be able to uh, retain these settings. Apart from these, you can also have other alerts 
such as a vibrating alert or whenever there is a message alert that message comes then what kind of alert you would want. So, you can customize all of these depending on your requirements. So, once you save the changes, the changes will be implemented and let us now go back and look at what is the next option that we have. Apart from this, you can also adjust the lights, the display of your mobile phone. In the display settings, you will be able to change the wallpaper which is this, the image that you see on the background of your display device. You can change the home screen, the font and how the notifications are shown in your mobile phone. All these settings are available in your display settings option. Apart from these, you can also set the date and time on your mobile phone, place a few shortcuts for commonly accessible applications and a lot of connectivity options that you can use to customize the connectivity settings of your mobile phone. Now, the last option that you have is the applications option which is where you will be able to see calculator, alarm clock, camera and a few other extra applications that you can use. So, if you want to use camera, you can go here, select the camera application and you will be able to switch on the camera. Uh, the camera will uh, be uh, useful if you want to take photographs or if you want to shoot video growths. So, if you want to take a photograph, you press the center button which says capture and you will be able to capture the image on your mobile device. And to access this image, you can go to the gallery and open your photographs that we saw earlier you know, and access the photographs from that option. So, just as we saw now, multimedia phones typically have camera, it can record audio video files, it can play audio video files. Um, you can save files using a memory card on the mobile device, you can access the internet. Uh, use uh, Bluetooth and uh, similar functionalities to connect the phone to a computer or to other computers and be able to utilize the power of the mobile phone. Apart from these, you can also listen to uh, a radio using this mobile. You see the radio button there. So, you press the top button there, you will be able to access the radio. Typically, these mobile phones will require uh, a head headphone uh, that is connected uh, to the headphone socket because the headphone acts as an antenna. So, as soon as you connect a headphone to the mobile phone, you will be able to access radio. Uh, you can typically access the FM radio that is available in each of your cities or towns or villages and that can be accessed through the radio option. On the other hand, you will see another shortcut called media. So, if you want to quickly access your photographs, all you need to do is just go to the, um, press the media button there and you will be able to access the photographs directly. So, you do not have to go inside the phone searching for it. Here you can directly go into the media file and you will be able to access your songs and videos. And uh, when you are traveling, this is a very easy tool because it will help you listen to uh, songs or watch videos at your own convenience. So, as we have seen in this video, we try to understand what, how do we operate a multimedia mobile phone. Uh, I am sure this is very useful for you because understanding this is important for you in repairing these mobile phones in future. Thank you very much.